Hello everyone. Now we see the example of critical path method. Critical path is the sequence of activities in the project that form the longest chain in terms of their time to complete. This is the example of the critical path calculation in Milwaukee paper manufacturing. An easy way to do is identify the immediate predecessor. Immediate predecessor are the activities that need to be complete immediately before an activity. Activity A and B can start without other activity complete. Activity A need to be complete before activity C. B and A need to be complete before D can start. Activity C need to be complete before activities A and F. Activity D and E need to be complete before G can start. Activity F and G need to be complete before H can start. Okay, after we know the activity and immediate predecessor, we move to create activity on nodes. Okay, the activity on nodes in here we can start from we can start from here from start. And then we move to A, yeah. and also B. A and B, we can start simultaneously because A and B without immediate predecessor. Then we move to the A, move to the C. And here D, D got two predecessor A and also B. So the arrow move from A and also move from B. And then the next is E. E have immediate predecessor from C. So the arrow move from C to E. And then the next is G. G get two immediate predecessor from D and also from E. And then F, activity F has immediate predecessor from activity C. So the arrow move from C to F. And then finally H. The activity H got immediate predecessor from F and also from G. So this is the flow of the activity network for Milwaukee paper manufacturing, starting from start and then the end is in H activity. This is the result of the diagram activity or not after we connected all activity from activity A to activity H. After we make sure the diagram already corrected, then we continue to prepare the critical path analysis. From this table, we identify the activities duration as follow in weeks. A2, B3, C2, D4, E4, F3, G5, H2. The number is expected duration of the activity. For each activity in the project, we calculate four points in times. The earliest start, the earliest finish, the latest start, and the latest finish. The early start and early finish are the earliest time that the activity can start and be finished. The latest start and latest finish are the latest time the activity can start and finish without delaying the project. The first thing we do, we must calculate forward pass. The forward pass begin at starting event and work forward to follow the earliest start time rule. If an activity has only a single immediate predecessor, its early start equal the early, early finish of the predecessor. If an activity has multiple immediate predecessor, its earliest start is the maximum of all the earliest finish values of its predecessor. The earliest finish time or EF 
of an activity is the sum of its earliest start times and its activity time. This is the result of the forward pass. We can see from the diagram that the project will finish on 15 weeks. Activity A has an early start zero and early finish two. Similar with activity B, it has an early start zero and early finish three. The early finish of C is four and early finish of F is seven. Activity D has an early start three from B's early finish and has early finish seven. Activity E has an early start four and early finish eight. Activity G has early start 8 from E's early finish and has early finish 13. Finally, activity H has an early start 13 from G early finish and has early finish 15. That's all in my video. See you again in the next video.